Hey everyone, Ms. Klein here, and I'm going to walk you through activity 1.3, and we're going to learn how to add a code to the make code microbit emulator. In 1.3, you'll notice we start here and you're able to open activity 1.3 by clicking on that, and that'll open up 1.3 and project lead the way. And then remember that Ms. Klein's helper book is in here, ready to help you through the lesson. Once you get down to the slide where we're actually programming Blink, you're going to download the innovator.hex file, and then you're gonna upload it into the Make Code emulator. And the way you do that is you click with the control key and you click on the, the link and you're gonna open it in a new window. Sorry, there's the link. Click, open link in a new tab. And you'll see at the bottom here, it did it downloaded it. If you don't have, hold on the control and new tab, it won't download it and you'll think it's not working. You can also download it directly from the course. Again, you need to do control, click, open link in a new tab, and you'll see that it downloaded. The other thing that's in both the course and in your digital notebook is the link to makecode.microbit.org, the Make Code Microbit emulator. And you open that and you'll see that Ms. Kynes downloaded it before. You can also open it from here. There's a link here from your digital notebook. You just click to open that one. You don't need to control click that. Now to get that innovator file in there, it's very easy. Click the button that says import and then import your file and choose your file, and then you can search it up from your download. I save mine in my downloads, and there it is right there. And open. And once you open it, you click go ahead and it'll open the file. And then it shows you the code. And you can see that if you push the A, it's going to show the check and the X four times, just like it was programmed to do. And if you push the B, You can see that it's doing the big square, medium square, small square, four times, just like it's programmed to do. And then it shows a smiley face at the end. And that's it. And you'll answer the questions about the program in here. Press the A, what happens? Press the B, what happens? And this client's helping you out um, with how to phrase that correctly. The main thing is that you learn how to download a hex file and how to put it in make code emulator. And later on, you'll learn to debug it and program it yourself. And after we come back from the semester, you can check out a microbit and try it with a real microbit. So great job.